have to say that for me, this is a particular pleasure and a great honour to speak to the wonderful Katie George because we spoke a few years ago. Now, please tell everybody watching what has been happening since. Yeah, so two years ago, I, uh, I was here after winning a silver medal at the World Championships in the road. And uh, for eight weeks ago, Eve and I were competing in Rio. We had four races, two on the track in the velodrome and then two on the road. And we won the time trial, uh, winning the gold. And we got the silver in the road race around eight weeks ago. And is it possible to in any way describe that feeling? I mean, the way you're holding on to those medals now, it almost as if you almost can't believe it. Yeah, it seems, you know, well, it's only really the last few weeks it's been it's sink, really sinking in what we've achieved. It was very surreal at the time and a whole load of emotions, you know, uh, emotions of joy, what, we, what we've, you know, what we've actually done to, to get it, the sacrifices we've made, you know, the things we've missed, but also just, just the, the years of hard work and the, the dream I had years ago of, of what it would be like to actually win a medal and to aim to it and then to actually achieve it is just something else. It's just... Uh, I'm on top of the world and it's just something that no one can ever take away from us and that's just a great feeling. And you touched on the, the, the preparation. Give us a little synopsis of the preparation. Uh, so, you know, we'd be training most days and on the bike, off the bike as well in the gym and you know but we're, we're we're working on a lot of different things so you'd be looking at the nutrition you'd be working on the nutrition you'd be becoming trying to make sure that you're injury free you know you wouldn't be on a day off you wouldn't be walking around for hours because you know you're you're, you're probably more likely to um like come across kind of infection but also uh it's just the you're looking at the next training session so you're always preparing for that next training session so it's a recovery for the next training session and every training session you always want to do well i always want to do 110 percent knowing that i gave everything for each session because you always wanted to do one better than your competitors so it's preparation you know on and off the bike but then you're looking at the bikes as well in terms of your position on the bikes refining positions and then also i'm on a team so i'm a team sport i'm on the tandem so it's about making you you the best athlete you can be but also the best athlete you are together in a team with so i race with eve she's my pilot on the front of the tandem so it's us as a team working together and now what now i mean when you've when you've achieved so much what what is the next chapter for katie george yeah it's a different it's a difficult question I, i'm still really thinking through what i want to do long term uh, but for the next year, Eve and I are carrying on. Um, we're aiming for the World Championships in South Africa next August. There's one thing we haven't come, and that's we haven't become world champions. We haven't um, won a world championship medal. We've got a silver and a bronze, but we haven't become world champions. So that's something we're going to aim for for the summer in South Africa on the road in the time trial, and we've got the road race. Then after that, we'll see. You know, if we carry on for Tokyo. You know, it, it's a possibility, but there's a few questions we need to answer, and also we need we need help, kind of financially for that as well. And we I suppose funding is very critical. Yes, it is. Yeah, it, it, it's just support. You know, it helps us uh, buy the bikes, get us the best bikes against because we're against the top comp countries in the world. So we need to get top-notch bikes because. Uh, your, you know the, the bike that you're on will make a difference to your performance and then it's the upkeep of the bikes and also you know I'm traveling over to Ireland to train with Eve to, for training camps and um, you know have to pay the bills and everything so funding is crucial and it's something that we kind of are looking for um, for going on moving on and when you won when you got these amazing because they are amazing even I feel emotional just sort of being here with you because it's such an achievement do you feel you won those for Donegal almost? Oh, I did, yeah. Like, I, I won them for Ireland, and then I, I, I knew I won them from Donegal, and I was straight after we, I, I was, I went straight to Donegal to show them off to, to the local village where my, you know, my dad's from, and the, the area there, family. And yeah, I won it for Ireland and Donegal and my family as well, and the support group behind me. Well, Mount Charles, Donegal, the Northwest, Ireland, we are all so very proud of you. Well done and continued success. And if anybody is watching out there and you have a few bob that you would like to sponsor this young lady because the next focus is getting that world medal. 
Thank you. Thank you very much indeed.